again uh, to my pre previous video tutorial. This is part three devoted to vectors. Uh, vectors are basically encapsulating uh, Petsy scalar uh, array. We can declare vector by this. The basic life cycle of vectors looks like this. Uh, firstly, we create vector by vec create. Uh, you can set the layout of vector by vec set sizes. Then set the type. You can call vec set from options to control the properties of vector from command line. And in the end, you just call vec destroy. There is also a sequential alternative. If you wanted to have sequential vector in this case, you could uh, set the type to vexq, uh, communicator to petsycom self, and uh, set the local and global sizes to the same number. And you can also call create, uh, set the layout and type of the vector all in one by vec-create MPI and similar functions. You can set the parallel layout of your vector in this way. Consider the vector be with local size small n and global size uppercase m distributed across three processes. You, you call vec set sizes to set the sizes. Uh, here we have two situations. One where, one where we have these local sizes, three, three, and two. And on the right side, we have local sizes two, four, and two. You can also set either lowercase m or uppercase m to Petsy this side. It means that Petsy uses so-called standard layout, which is on the left side. Uh, you can also get this uh, layout across the given communicator without a specific object uh, calling Petsy split ownership like this. You can also query the layout using these functions. For local sizes, vec get local size. For global sizes, vec get size. And uh, if you want to get uh, global indices of the first and last elements of the local portion, you call vec get ownership range like this. So for example, let's say on the right side, uh, on rank one, you get lowercase m and uppercase m four and eight and uh, this first and last elements, low and high, are 2 and 6. And now I will tell you how to assemble the vectors. Let's say you have vector x. You can set all entries to constant value using vec set, or set all entries to 0 using vec 0 entries, or you can set individual elements with global indexing using vec set value. It is sometimes more efficient uh, to set multiple entries at once. You can specify your indices and uh, values. These arrays have the same size. And you then call vec set values. And the last argument can be insert values which stands for replacing original value, or add values, which means that you, ha you want to add the new values to the original values, like these operators in C. But uh, vec set values is a purely local function with no inter-process communication. It just uh, caches the values and uh, before using the vector, you must call so-called assembly function pair, like assembly begin and end, to exchange values between processors. Why? Computations can be done while MPI messages are in transition. 
you can have optional calculations that uh, do not involve X. This allows overlapping communication and co computation, so the program can be more efficient. Okay, and now you have your vector assembled and you maybe want to get the values of the vector. There are two, two possibilities. You can uh, call vector values or vector array. What is the difference? In the first case, you get the copy of local entries. But be careful, uh, Petsy uses global indices here. So in this case, you get two values uh, with indices 10 and 20, and uh, the values will be stored in the array V. In the second case, when you use VEGGET array, you get the pointer to the whole local internal representation. So in this case, uh, it will be pointer called A. Uh, you can do what you want with this array. You can read it and even modify it, but you must not forget to call VEG restore array. Petsy also includes these comfortable functions to create another vector with the same type and layout. It is called VecDuplicate. And if you want to copy the entries from one vector to another, you can call VecCopy. So wait a moment, I will show you the next example. Let's compile and step through this source code example. I use a sleep flag to let the program wait for me to attach a debugger. First off, I create a global vector x. I set its local and global sizes. The local size will be rank plus 1 and the global will be computed automatically. Vec set from options mainly sets the standard type. If it is not overridden with a dash vec type command line option. More about that in the Petsy manual pages. Further, I get the global size using VEC get size. Now I, now I set values of all entries to a constant one. Vector is printed to standard output with VEC view, specifying built-in Petsy viewer standard out world viewer. You could also use viewer that prints to a file, for example. Now, in this loop, each process adds one to all elements except the last rank elements. In this add values mode, the routine adds one to the original value. Now we would like to view X, but the program crashes as X is not assembled. We must call VEC assembly begin and end first. In our case we will only uncomment it. We will run it again. Now without debugger. Okay, so this is the end of the part devoted to vectors and we can now proceed to matrices. Thank you for your attention.